Recently, I looked into my fish tank and um, I got a little surprised. I saw a little, what looked like a little cluster of something. And um, upon my research, I found out that they were mystery snail eggs. Um, I had had mystery snails for about a year, but they've never laid eggs. So I looked into this and I found nothing. There was maybe like one video on YouTube. Uh, the rest weren't that good. And there was one good blog. And the blog had the videos that were on YouTube, so it was really useless. Um, so I did a lot of research and I wanted to put out a video that was uh, somewhat helpful. Um, I know there aren't that many out there, so if anything, uh, it's better than nothing. Anyways, um, the method that the lady used in this video was that she would take the cluster of snail eggs and put them in a plastic container. Um, I'm not really going to follow that approach because... I believe that the snails leave, I actually don't believe, I read that they um, lay their, their little cluster of eggs in the right spot that's going to develop the eggs faster and healthier. So I don't think removing them is necessarily the best idea, putting them in a container on the side of the fish tank or floating above as well. So let me sh let me tell you uh, what I did and uh, maybe you can follow this. Um, if you can see in this fish tank, there's a little snail right there's a whole bunch of snails actually i counted maybe 30 but they're all hiding all the white dots that you see like there's one in the center of the camera they're all snails um on that right there the white spot those are all baby snails that i hatched so let me go ahead and explain to you what i did and maybe um you can take what you like from there um so let me go ahead and open this thing up for you There is my cluster of eggs, right there. Um, they laid them on the side of the container of my fish tank. And um, what happens is that the snails lay there, most of the time it's gonna be above the water line, maybe like around here, as you can see, they laid them right there. Um, and they lay them above the water, obviously, so that they don't get eaten. Give me a second. Okay. And uh, what I prefer to do is you can, there's two things that you can do. You can either leave the cluster, like let's, let's say it was right here. You, you could just leave it right here and um, it takes about a week or two for them to hatch. So you can wait for them to hatch and what happens when they hatch is that they start sliding all the way down slowly, slowly, slowly. They're babies, so they move really slow. They're going to make their way to the glass well you can't see the glass but it's right here so you're gonna see them moving down slowly 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 and what you're gonna want to do is take your net and uh let me see if i can close this is you're gonna take your net and put it against the wall and just sort of flick them inside the net and collect them all. They usually all hatch the same time, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and then yeah, just flick them inside your net, and you're gonna see a bunch of little balls inside there, and they're all gonna be baby snails. Um, if they don't, if you don't see more than maybe ten of them hatching, um, don't worry. The rest of them are developed in the cluster. They just haven't came out. So what you can do is once you've seen a a, a large number of them hatching, which is uh, over ten. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, grab the cluster, un uh, maybe underwater. You would submerge the bottom half of the net underwater and grab the cluster and sort of just shake it around. It's going to it's gonna like dematerialize and then you're just going to want to sprinkle everything and the rest of the eggs that haven't hatched. Um, they're, they're developed, but they just haven't come out of the cluster. You're going to get them in the net. Then what you want to do is... You're going to want to pick up a, they're called breeder nets. This is a breeder net. Although this one's plastic, I forgot what the exact name of it is, but um, pick one of these up. Preferably plastic like this one. There you go. And um, if you can, try to get some plastic, um, some plastic. So try to get some aquatic plants. Like right here, I have this Amazon sword. And um, I think that's moss. I think I got like a moss ball and I just ripped it up. 
and I threw it in there along with some java moss. This is just to feed the uh, the snails. And again, the reason why I chose this plastic, when you can use the little material one that has like netting material, that one works as well. But um, the reason I chose this plastic one is that, um, there we go, is that the the sides of the of the plastic it uh, builds a lot a lot of algae so that's what the snails feed off of so you not only have you're not only having these these little plants for them to feed but a lot of algae like right now you can see all the way in it and it looks crystal clear but if there weren't that many baby snails in there there's about like 30 in there um you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to see in there there'd just be so much algae like on top you can see all the little spots Again, so you're going to want to collect all your snail eggs and your little net and then place them into there, having put maybe at least one plant. And just go ahead and let them develop in there. Um, I wish they were crawling on the side so you can see them. Um, I know I can see them, but that's because I'm here. But I think there's one, at least one right there too. There you go. That little white spot. Um, they're super small, maybe about the size of a, of a, not even of a, of a piece of gravel. They're about the size of a fish eye, like that small, like a little circle. And, um, yeah, just go ahead and let them develop here. And that's how, and that's pretty much what I do. And I've already hatched a large number of them. Um, again, feel free to try different things. Your snails aren't just gonna lay eggs one time. If they laid eggs one time, it's probably because you have the right conditions and they're probably gonna lay more eggs. Um, I recommend checking your fish tank every day. I check mine every day. I always lift up my lid, um, do a little, do a little, uh, just a brief scoping of the fish tank. Look on the sides and stuff and um, yeah, that's what I do. Um, 